This video is a request by Lamis. Hello everyone and welcome back to Monsters of the Past. As always, I'm your host, Mr. G. Today we're talking about a tale of two sharks from the Cretaceous. Cretoxyrhina and Squalacorix. Cretoxyrhina means Cretaceous sharp nose, and it was a member of... Well, it's one of those animals that's part of a family of its own name, so... Cretoxyrhina was part of the Cretoxyrhina family. Okay. It was a carnivore that lived during the late Cretaceous, and it lived in oceans around the world. Meanwhile, Squalacorix means raven shark, and it was a member of the Anacridae family. It was also a carnivore. Well, come to think of it, I'm pretty sure most sharks are carnivores. Yeah. And it lived in most of the Northern Hemisphere. Cretoxy rhino is about 26 feet long, bringing, being basically the same size as the shark from Jaws. Cretoxy rhino is also called the Ginsu shark, named after a brand of knives that were advertised to be able to cut through anything. Squalacorix, comparatively, was smaller. Most species were equal in size to humans, with the larger still only being in the teens in terms of size. Unfortunately, Squalacorix is a wastebasket taxon, so a lot of species of itself probably aren't even Squalacorix. How unfortunate. Both these sharks have had their remains. Well, I, I already said they were found pretty worldwide, but both have had remains found in the state of Kansas, which, as you know, is landlocked. So as such, they would have lived in the Western Interior Seaway, where during the late Cretaceous, the middle of the U.S. ended up getting submerged over, creating an inland sea, where most of the most famous Cretaceous sea life lived, and these two are on that list. Evidence points to Cretoxyrhina being a big game hunter, with its teeth being perfect for crushing armor, making it something you wouldn't want to mess with. Turtles, plesiosaurs, small mosasaurs, all on the menu for Cretoxyrhina. There's even evidence that they hunted the large fish Xyphectinus, which was no slouch in size either, so they were definitely big game guys. Squalacorx, meanwhile, due to its smaller size, is more similar to smaller sharks in its lifestyle, most likely going after smaller prey while also scavenging on the carcasses of large animals, with us even having things like hadrosaurs and pteranodon skeletons with bite marks of a Squalacorx on them, with the hadrosaur likely being washed out to sea and the shark feasting on its corpse. Although with the pteranodon, it's debatable if this is uh, also a scavenger thing or if they would genuinely attack pteranodons when they dived. Now, Cretoxyrhino was a top predator for a while, but it's thought that their extinction came about due to large mosasaurs coming around and giving them real competition. They eventually died out because of that. As for Squalacorx, it managed to live to the extinction event, so it got the honors of being wiped out by a meteor. Good for them. Smaller guys survived. As for pop culture, Squalacorx was in The Walking with Dinosaur spin-off sea monsters, and maybe Cretoxyrhino was in Land Before Time 5 ish i think that's what this movie is i don't know there's actually a lot of debate in the fandom as to if this is a cretoxy rhino or megalodon so who knows if i had to give this video a moral it's that apex predator is a very unstable position since it might be the biggest toughest carnivore one day but then someone better than you comes along and drives you extinct but sometimes being lower on the food chain is better long term yeah well that's all for this episode of monsters of the past see you guys next time goodbye